Studios. You're watching KFDM 6 News tonight at 10. I know he's in heaven, but when I when I heard about it, I was just crying. For... Tonight, family, friends, and classmates of Connor Curtis gathering to grieve, turning out in large numbers to honor him. Good evening. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Aaron Drawhorn. Tonight, tears flowed, heads were bowed, and a tight-knit community mourned the loss of Connor Curtis. The 14-year-old boy from Groves fell into the Natchez River during a Memorial Day outing after the boat he was riding in started taking on water. We used to always like ride bikes around the neighborhood together. We would always fish and just try to mess around with the gators. But the other night, me and him were actually just playing around, just trying to catch a gator, and we had a good bike ride that night. They organized a prayer vigil at Port Natchez Riverfront Park. More than 100 gathered near the cross at the park, leaving flowers, handwritten notes, messages, and other items. Speakers remembered the 14-year-old who would have entered Port Natchez Groves High School in August. Friends telling us what they will remember about Connor. He loved hunting and fishing. He really enjoyed old country music artists like Hank Williams, and he loved riding his mini bike. It's tough, and this last past couple of days have been hard. But, you know, now that I know he's in a better place, watching all over us, I, I think it's like, I'm getting better. Connor's body was recovered yesterday evening after a community united coming together to search the waters and the banks of the Natchez. Connor's family attends Encounter Church, the pastor releasing a statement to KFDM saying in part, we are so sad for the loss of Connor. The family and I wish to thank all the agencies involved that worked so hard to recover Connor. The pastor continues by recognizing what he calls the amazing support from the community and the Encounter Church family. Connor's family now preparing to make funeral arrangements. Go to kfdm.com for links to a GoFundMe account to help out that family. So far, the community has raised more than $48,000.